Draft day was a bizarre experience for me. In talking with the Diamondbacks and I think five other teams, uh, I was expected to go anywhere between the 15th and 20th round. Obviously the first day came and went, but then the second day started and round 15 came and went, didn't get drafted and got all the way up to round 25, still wasn't drafted and they took a, a 10 minute break between round 25 and 26. And I actually called my college coach and said, man, I'm not going to get drafted. I, I've got family here, I've got a few of my good friends here. But here, here's all these people at my house, and, and there's this expectation to get drafted, and I'm thinking I'm going to let everybody down, and it's going to be a very embarrassing thing. Just about the time in the middle of conversation with him, I get a phone call from an Arizona number, and it's uh, Howard McCullough, who was a, a scout with the Diamondbacks, told me that they were going to take me in the 26th round. And so, of course, I run in the house and tell my parents, tell everybody, hey, look, they're getting ready to take me in the 26th round. And sure enough, when the 26th round came up and down, the Arizona Diamondbacks selected me, and it was a very surreal experience, obviously a lot of hugs. I wasn't too emotional, but a lot of hugs and a lot of high fives, and then uh, had a little party afterwards. It was a good time. For me, it was just a sense of accomplishment. You know, I was I was happy with with getting drafted. I worked a lot, worked really hard to get to that point. And I was always a guy that was kind of under the radar. I felt like I had to work harder and do things a little bit different than everybody else to to get myself put on the radar. To have that all kind of come to fruition by getting drafted was was definitely a, a dream come true. You can see more Yankees on demand and scoreboard content by clicking here. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel right here.